we're gonna do a tutorial um, on how to do this Andy Warhol effect. So I'll show you what that kind of looks like here. So we're gonna create this effect where we have a threshold um, and then we fill in some areas with some color. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously I have my expressive photo. I'm just gonna drag that over the Photoshop icon. Now I need to remove myself from the background. So I'm gonna grab any selection tool, like my quick selection. I'm gonna click select subject to get my selection of my face. And then I'm gonna hit command C to copy what's inside those dancing ants. And then command V, as in Virginia, to paste. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this background layer. And notice right now I don't have anything behind me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a solid color behind. So I'm gonna go to my black and white adjustment cookie. And I'm gonna add solid color. I'll just choose white for now, just so I can see it. We'll change it to a cool color later. Um, but just for now, that's what we'll want. All right, so now let's do our threshold effect. We're gonna go up to layer one. I'm gonna make sure my layer is activated. I'm gonna go to image, adjustments, and threshold. And this is gonna create kind of this black threshold and I can use this dial to kind of get it to where I want it. I like that. You want some visuals, you want some details. You don't want it to look like where there's nothing. And then you don't want it too blown out to where it's kind of like hard to see. I kind of like it right there is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you'll notice I have this white in my face and I want to remove it so that I can get some color inside of there. So we're going to learn a new selection method. Okay, And if you th think about it, if I try to use my magic wand it's not gonna get everything. It's gonna miss some certain spots. So I'm gonna go up to select. I'm gonna go to color range. And what this allows me to do is select a field of color and get all of it. So I want the black. I wanna keep the black. I wanna get rid of the white. So I'm gonna click in the black on my picture. Click OK. And now you'll see I got all the dancing ants around the black. I'm going to hit Command C to copy the black and Command V to paste it. Then I'm going to delete layer one. And look, now I just have the black, which leaves me so much opportunity to add color to this. All right. So what that color range does again is it just selects all of the same colors in the image, even though they're, they're broken apart, right? It says, okay, you want black, I'm going to find all the black in that picture. So let's add some color to this. So I'm gonna change the background color. So if I click on my color fill layer and I double click on this box on the left in my layers menu, I can pick any color I want. So I'm gonna go blue, perfect. Now let's add some paint. So I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna put it under my face. I'm gonna get a paintbrush. And then down here on the left are our color swatches. So I'm gonna double click this black one and pick like, a, maybe we'll go like an orange, like a light orange. There we go. Perfect. And now I'm gonna use my bracket keys to shrink my brush. And now I can just kind of free paint behind my face. Make sure my opacity is all the way up. There we go. Obviously be careful not to go outside the lines, but think about this as now like kind of like a coloring book where we can go in and kind of fill these areas in. You know, you could do a couple. I would say don't do more than three colors per image. All right. Kind of use this down here, fill this all in. All right. Now let's say you wanted to change the color of the black that we did. Let's change the color of the black. So if I go back to my top layer, I go select color range, and I click on the black. I'm gonna click OK, and now I have it. So here's what I can do. 
I can go to edit, fill, choose a color, and I'm going to pick, let's go purple. Let's go like a deep purple and click OK. Now I change the color of that black. Okay. So what's nice is once you finish one of them, we're going to make nine of these. We're going to make nine different ones with different colors and different background colors. So what you can do is I'm going to file save as. Title is Haas Warhol. Make sure it's on my desktop and click save. Then I'm going to export one as a JPEG. I'm going to go export as JPEG. I'm going to title this Haas Warhol 1. Okay. Now what I can do is go in and change the color. So I'm going to choose different colors, different paint, whatever it may be. Then I'll export this one as JPEG 2. And we'll just continue this pros process until we have our 9. So this will be Haas Warhol 2. Click Save. And then I'll change the colors and continue the process. All right. Have fun with this. Add some colors. Make it look neat and clean and, and well crafted, not too messy. And um, we'll compile all nine of them in our next lesson. Thank you. Good work.